My dear friends, today my topic is what is the Ampere's law in the differential form? Or I can say what's the mean of the curl of a magnetic field? Okay? Curl of magnetic field or Ampere's law in the differential form. Right? Let me assume that there is uh, some surface and through this surface there is through this surface there are some currents or current densities like the current density may be along this direction it may be along this direction it may be along this direction okay this is a surface and current density may be like this along this side along this side along this side along this side okay so, or along this side so I mark like this is a point and current density may be like this, it 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 may be like this. So current density is different at the different points in magnitude and directions. Okay? So represented by j1 vector, j2 vector and all. Like this, uh, this cap of my pen, it shows the, it, it, it shows the direction of the current densities, like maybe this, maybe like this, maybe like this, and maybe like this, maybe like this, or maybe like this. Now, there are a very, very small areas at here, at here like ds1 vector, area, you know, area is a vector quantity and its direction is perpendicular to the plane of the surface. So, this is here ds2. So, area will always be perpendicular like this like this. So area vector always perpendicular to the surface. But current density may be like this, may be like this. Now the question in mind is in in our mind is what is the total current you know through this surface which is bounded by a curve C. Okay, let the total current is I. Okay, and current may be written as with current density J vector dot ds vector. Through this surface, through the surface S. Because it is a surface integral. Okay, if the, the net current, it is along outward in direction, then the line integral of the magnetic field, if the net current is outward in direction, okay, then you curl your fingers, curl your fingers and thumb pointing the uh, direction of the line integral of the magnetic line integral mean Ampere's law uh, already I explained in my video uh, that link is given here in the description box uh, you found that article where I proved that line this is a line integral 
of magnetic field dot product for a curve C and direction of the curve C is if net current is pointing if net current is pointing outward you curl your fingers so this is the direction of the curve C so it is equals to mu naught i this is the ampere's law not in differential form in general form and i explained it in my video the link is given in the description box so now substituting this value of i here so it becomes c b dot l is equals to mu naught then the surface j vector dot ds vector okay now i am going to apply this stokes theorem you know well what is the stock theorem do you know about stock theorem according to stock theorem this line integral may be written as in the form of surface integral line integral may be written as in the form of surface integral but how written as del cross p dot ts like this this is i applied the stokes theorem here this integral line integral to the surface integral then you know because this was equals to this so it is equals to mu not surface j vector dot ds vector now look what the, this equation indicates the surface integral indicates like ds and ds okay surface integral and surface integral that mean curl of the magnetic field is equals to mu not j this equation is known as ampere's law in differential form and curl of magnetic field is mu not times the current density this equation hel helps us for finding the magnetic field at a point and current density at the same point this equation will help finding the field at that point where the current density is known at that point then you can then you can find the magnetic field at that point. okay this is all about ampere's law in differential form otherwise ampere law was general form was general form of the ampere law was the line integral of magnetic field along the closed curve c is equals to mu not times the current threading the closed path so this is general form this is the differential form thank you